Welcome to another video by Pharos Technology. Today we're going to set up a template for students to use when they need to submit a paper in MLA format. Now MLA is used in a lot of the humanities areas to uh, submit papers, more, more in the liberal arts areas of colleges and universities. Sciences tend to use APA format. History majors tend, will tend to use Chicago format. And eventually we'll do a video on each one of those formats so you can set up whatever template is uh, useful for you. So start by opening a blank Word document. And we'll start by modifying this normal style. And we'll do that by clicking this down arrow and putting this sidebar over here that has all of our styles for this paper. We'll come up here to normal and click this down arrow and we'll click modify. Now the reason we want to modify this is because it'll modify it for the entire paper all at once. We don't have to worry about resetting it every time we need a new indentation or we need a new title. We can work straight from the uh, style being changed. And so the first thing we want to do is address the idea of fonts. The font in this case, by default, is set to Calibri 11 point. MLA specifies that they need that they want 12 point for their fonts. So we'll immediately change these font size to 12 point. The font recommendation for the primary font is Times New Roman. Now I'll go ahead and choose that because I happen to like Times New Roman. I like my students to use Times New Roman, but the specification in the MLA manual states that it needs to be a clear font, a clearly readable font. So you wouldn't want to use something like a handwriting font or a, a font that looks quirky or funny. Uh, you want it to be uh, the kind of font that you would expect to see if you were to go buy a book at a bookstore, or go to a library and pick up a book off the shelf and open it up. You'd, you'd see very clear readable fonts. And that's the intent of the MLA format. So whatever font you choose, as long as it's clear and it's 12 point, that should be acceptable to your instructor. The next thing we want to do here is change the spacing and the paragraph indentation, okay? So the first thing we'll come down here is down to the spacing. We'll get rid of this extra space after the paragraph. And we'll come over here to line spacing and we'll make the line spacing double spaced. Now this will give you a true double space. Where it was before didn't give you a true double space because it put that extra space at the end of a paragraph and it was actually only 1.08 spaces. So even though it didn't look like it was single spaced, it wasn't a full double space either. Okay, now the next thing you want is each paragraph is indented. So we'll change our first line indent and it'll set itself automatically at half an inch, which is exactly what we want in this case. Now we've set all the things that we need to set here. So I'll go ahead and click OK. And I'm going to close my styles box over there. MLA format, like like most of the other formats, does not actually have a title page. Instead, on the first page, it has what they call a title block. And the title block needs to be flush left. Now, you'll notice that because we've set our indentation, that we're not flush left at the moment. So I'm going to scoot this tab right here over, and I'm going to put it right here on the left-hand margin. Now, margins are set at one inch all the way around, and it's set by default at one inch for Word, so you don't need to worry about going in and setting up the margins. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna type, you're gonna put your first name, and so I, I'll type my name, if I can get the I out of there, and then I'll hit enter, and the next thing is gonna be the instructor name, and then the next line is going to be the course name, and the number two if you, if you have it and then it's going to be the date. So after the date here, then comes the, the title of the paper. Now the title of the paper is centered. And so you hit the center button up here and here the title is put. 
and the title does not get bolded or italicsed or underlined. It's just written, just normal type font, okay? Now I'm going to put this back to the left. I'm gonna change my indentation back where it belongs. And now I can start writing my paper. Now your instructor is also going to want you to put your, your last name in the header along with a page number. So I'm going to double click up here in the header. And when I do that, notice that it goes ahead and opens up my header and opens up the tab for header and footer. And I'm going to type my last name and I'm going to hit a space and I want to insert a page number. I'm going to do that at the top of the page. Okay. And notice that it erased my name. So I'm going to write my name again. And after I write my name, I'm going to write justify. So I go over here to my home tab and I'm going to write justify that information over to the right side of the page. Now I have my last name and my page number. I'm going to double click outside of the header down here to close my header. And now I'm going to, this is where I start my text. And that's where you'd start writing your paper. Now, the last page of your paper always has to have a works cited page. So you want to come up here to insert and add a page break. And you want it to be truly centered. So you're going to take your indent and put it to the left again, like I did before. And I'm going to go to my home tab again going to hit center and I'm going to type works cited and I'm going to hit enter. Now works cited then needs to be left justified again, but the paragraph style here is going to be a slightly different. So I'm going to click this down arrow here to open up my paragraph font and down in on this particular page, I'm going to give it a hanging indent. A hanging indent looks like this down here that you see this text here. The left, the top one line is left justified and all subsequent lines of the same citation are indented. And then when the new citation starts, it's back out at the margin with the lines under it indented again. So I'm going to click OK and I have my paper all set up. Now, how do I make this? A template. I have my work cited. I have place for my citations. I have place for my title. I know where my title block goes. I know where to start my text and my page numbering is all there. Yeah, that's way cool. It's ready to go. So let's go up to file and we're going to save it as and I'm going to browse and put it on my hard drive in my documents folder here. But I'm going to not save it as a docx. I'm going to save it as a dot X for a document template file. Okay, so DOTX. Okay, and I'm going to give it an appropriate name. I'm going to give it a name MLA9 format template. And I'm going to hit save. And that's how to create a template that you can use time after time. Now, the way you open this one back up is you double click on it. And notice, even though I have saved it out on OneDrive, it does not auto-save to this one because when you hit when you hit the Save button here, it does not auto-save here. So what you do is you come here to File, and the first time you save it, you do a Save As, and then you save it as a docx file, and you give it a new appropriate name, and your paper is ready to go. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Hope you come back for more. Talk to you later. Thanks.